Hi, I'm Rocket from Reckless Blenders, and welcome to another Musings from Rocket Sellers. I got a couple things for you today, but the first thing I want to do is check in with you. I hope you're doing okay. I hope you're taking care of yourself, physically, mentally, spiritually. It's important. Stay connected with your friends, with your family, with your parents, with your children, with your siblings, with your cousins, because let's just face it this is these are really interesting times and i we will get through this we will and we are resilient and you are resilient you will make it i know this so just take some take a few moments whether it's once a day once a week take care of yourself okay so one of the big things I wanted to talk about this time is we have a curbside event coming up in October 31st. So that's Halloween. So when I say wear your mask, <laughs> got a, a double meaning there. Noon to four, just like last time. We're following this pattern of the last weekend of the month. It's kind of what we've been doing. And I can't guarantee that's what's going to keep going. But right now it is. So uh, come join us. October 31st, uh, drive by, pick up some wine. Here's a couple of things to think about. So Thanksgiving's coming up and we won't have another curbside event before then. You can absolutely purchase, pick up, have wine shipped to you, have it delivered to you between now and then. But this might be an opportunity to take advantage of stopping by and getting out in the nice sunshine and, uh, and checking things out with us. So if you buy some wine now in October and November, we have a special coupon code that I'm going to give to you at the end of this. So please stick around till the end to get a really special coupon code. And the big thing here on the, uh, you know, these curbside events is it's a great opportunity to see what we're doing in, in, in the moment because we're in the middle of harvest right now. So last time we were, I think we had Tariga showed up. So we were harvest. I mean, we were stemming and crushing Tariga. So people got to see us doing that, which was hot, sweaty work. Uh, it's absolutely rewarding work. And people were also able to, to um, taste the grapes, right? Which, I mean, how many places can you go where you're doing that kind of thing, tasting the grapes right there? It was all safe. We were all very uh, physically distanced and all that. So anyway, um, I spent the last weekend at the winery with JT, and we were pressing that Tariga, and that's so much fun. You know, you take anyway. I don't, I'm not going to go into the process of it, but here's the thing: when we were pressing it, the color in that Tariga is this gorgeous purple. Oh my gosh, I just can't tell you how beautiful it is, and it tastes wonderful i mean the thing's just been in the it's been fermenting for a few weeks and we're pressing it and the taste was out of this world forest floor mushrooms savory with fruit oh my gosh i can't tell you it was just beautiful the other thing we got to do was taste the new wine that i haven't revealed yet which i will do soon i think i'm going to do it next uh, next musings because we think we're getting closer to understanding when and how much and the price point and all that good fun business. But we're super excited about that one. The other thing we did taste was a rosé. Now, I've talked a little bit about the rosé and I go on and on about how much I enjoy it. And the interesting thing about this, and some people are going to be upset with us and some people are going to be like, heck yeah, with us. But I think there's room for everybody on this one. So our rosé is made from our Sangiovese. Now some of you are going, less Sangiovese, oh my gosh, it was hard enough, it sells out so fast, ah! Mm -hmm. Yes. And then some of you are going, oh my gosh, wow, a rosé made out of their Sangiovese, that's gonna be fantastic. Yes. And for some reason, last weekend as I was as we were working this rosé kept jumping in my glass I don't know how it got there but the kind of thing we talk about is well how much of this are we going to have to sell if we keep drinking it at during work <laughs> we will have some to sell for sure 
Won't be a lot, so recognize that. So you're going to want to order this early. And we'll have details on that as we get closer. And we'll probably offer futures at the beginning of the year. So if you uh, come by the winery, any of the upcoming curbsides, and we have a little to sample, and you decide you want futures, just let me know. But I'll probably have a formal futures going in January at the earliest. So anyway, the, I, can, I can't tell you how good this stuff is. It was just it's got this beautiful fruit and the color. Oh my God, the color just blew me away. So anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna stop going on and on about the the rosé. I'm not gonna stop going on and on about it. I love it. So, um, but the big thing I wanted you to know about is the coupon code for October and November is about voting. This is important, everyone, and you know this, right? I mean, of course, there's the national show, but think about the local show as well. The city, the county, the district, the state. There's lots of things going on right now. There's measures. You know, please take time. Get informed about voting and exercise your right. Exercise your responsibility because that's what this is right now. Every voice matters. I, t I can tell you, at one point, I thought none of our voices mattered. It, it was a foregone conclusion. But as we've seen over the last several years, every vote counts. So the coupon code for this month, for October 2020 and November 2020, is IVOTE. That's active. It's not about I voted or I will vote. No, it's I vote. And that's going to give you a very nice discount. Please take advantage of it. We are starting to run low on 2017s. I think we're almost out, if not completely out, of the 2017 Barbera. The 2017 Sangiovese we've sold out of. There's a little bit of the Merlot, right? Now there's a there's a good chunk of 2018s of all the different varietals, but please, if you want some, get some now because things tend to go fairly quickly with us. And I somebody was at the one of the curbside and was talking. We were talking, and they're like, "Yeah, I thought I could just come buy some more of that." And it's like, you know, you can't. So if you like it, make sure you get some. If you think you're gonna like it. Make sure you get some. <laughs> um, one of the things that we do is we try and keep our prices reasonable. So when you talk about, uh, you know, these boutique wineries and these these special wineries like ours, they tend to jack the prices way up. And some of them are worth it. But we're not like that. We're like, look, we want to keep it approachable. We, we want it to be a win-win, right? It's It's... We keep it at a price point that allows us to continue doing what we're doing and allows you to enjoy it without forking over hundreds of dollars a bottle, right? And that's not what we're about. So I, I don't know how I wandered into this, but I'm here. So <laughs> I don't think I've talked about our philosophy when it comes to pricing. And, you know, it is definitely one thing we think about is we want to keep it at, it, this is a special wine, right? This is, we put our pa our life and blood into this. We, we really spend a lot of time thinking about what is it this grape is telling us? What is this varietal telling us? Blending it, making sure we take care of it, making sure we're giving you something that when you drink it, you go, F yeah, this is good wine. That's what we want, right? We don't tend to make wine for like storing long-term. That's not our gig, okay? There's a whole bunch of wineries just north of us in Napa that that's what they do. They sell you something that's supposed to lay down for 10, 15 years. No, what we want, that's not ours. What we want is something that's approachable early, and we've got lots of amazing techniques that we bring to bear. We don't over-process the wine, but we do pay attention to creating things that are consumable early. 
you know, within six months, within a year, right, you're able to enjoy this at a, at a, at a peak, you know, the, the flavors are wonderful and it's, it, it, it tends to be very good within about a year and sooner in some cases. We're not trying to compete with Napa. That's, that's silly. That doesn't make any sense, right? There's, they've got all these resources there in Napa. We're a small winery and we want to find interesting varietals we think you'll enjoy and open you up to different experiences that you would have otherwise. All right, that was a long rambling musings. <laughs> Recap. October 31st, noon to four-ish. Four-ish. You could be there by five. Curbside day. Wear your mask. Use the coupon code IVOTE. When you go to the website, the store, to, to buy wine, you can buy wine early and have it available at the curbside day. You can schedule a pickup for the wine in between if you want. You can come by either the location at the winery. I have a location there when you go to the website. There's one in Concord. That's where I'm at. You can come pick up for me. We will deliver it to you within a certain radius. Happy to do that. And we will also ship to you if you're in California. So those are some options. Use iVote. Get a really nice discount. Please take advantage of that. And I'm Rocket from Reckless Blenders. Thank you. <laughs>